There are three things in Final Cut Pro that can absolutely tank performance no matter the level of machine that you're working on. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what those three things are, and then I'm gonna show you how to fix them. First on this list is when you have the entire render view enabled. What I mean by that is if I were to go up to my transform tool, you should immediately see that this video is extending beyond the render view of my timeline. That is specifically because we have this option enabled in the top right corner. So I'll go ahead and disable that. What this does is it allows you to get a preview of what's going on beyond the render view. Personally, I love this feature. It's incredibly helpful to be able to see beyond the render view so that you know exactly how much footage you're working with. But for whatever reason, this specific option can totally kill performance. I don't know the technical reasons as to why, but I do know that by disabling this, oftentimes I get so much performance back in Final Cut Pro. The second thing that's likely killing video performance in Final Cut Pro is your video codecs. If you're working with something like a DJI drone or even a GoPro, oftentimes a lot of these more action-oriented cameras are filming in codecs that are extremely difficult for Final Cut Pro to work with. So I have this very simple drone shot that my buddy Brad West filmed in Poland and all I'm going to do is right click on it, then select transcode media. From there, it should bring up this window where you can choose to create optimized media or proxy media. I'm sure there's a lot of you that know the difference, but for those of you that don't, optimized media is definitely the best quality version of your video. So this is going to export in what's called ProRes 422, and it's a very high quality codec, but Final Cut Pro absolutely loves working with it. That said, this is also a much larger video file size. So take that into consideration, make sure you have the storage space available. Secondly, you can choose proxy media. Proxy media is just essentially a smaller version of the video you're working with, making it a lot easier to edit with because your machine's not working as hard. So in here, you can choose either ProRes Proxy, which will be a larger file size with slightly higher quality, or H.264, which I recommend if you really want to keep the file size small. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and just press OK, and Final Cut Pro will do all of its magic. So again, it's really simple. You just right-click on a video file, transcode media, and then press OK. Once Final Cut Pro is done transcoding it, you can see up here at the top that it's using the optimized version. Or if we go over to our view and change this over to proxy preferred, we can now see that we're working with the proxy version of that video file. This is going to drastically speed up performance on no matter what machine you are working with. That said, you also have this option to select proxy only, and I recommend you don't do that because if you take a look over here in my browser, because I didn't generate proxies for these other three files, they are showing as missing. So when we use proxy preferred, Final Cut Pro will still allow all video clips to work no problem, but it will draw from the proxies as you are editing if you've generated those. You need to be aware of what type of hard drive that you are working with. I have a 20 terabyte slow spinning hard drive that I use specifically for backups. And I only use it for backups because this is the number one performance killer for me in Final Cut Pro. For whatever reason, I don't need to be using this hard drive at all. I don't need to be drawing footage from it whatsoever, but Final Cut Pro will oftentimes try and wake that drive before I can continue editing. So because of that, I am constantly seeing beach balling appear on my screen, even though I have an M4 Max MacBook Pro. It makes it feel like Final Cut Pro is extremely sluggish, even though I'm barely using any footage on my timeline you need to eject any slow spinning hard drives that are not currently being used on your computer. I also strongly recommend that you do not edit off of these hard drives whenever possible because they will kill performance. It doesn't matter how cool of a machine you've got. What I do recommend instead is either editing off of your internal drive whenever possible or working with an external SSD drive that's pretty fast. I will have links to the SSDs that I use every single day. I'm not sponsored, but I will have affiliate links so it does support the channel if you pick those up. Ejecting that slow spinning hard drive, I promise will speed up performance in Final Cut Pro. You're going to see way less beach balling. It's absolutely worth it. And it's also worth spending a little bit of money to get a fast working drive that you can edit all your footage on. And then when you're ready to create a backup, you send that 
to your slow spinning drive. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please consider pressing that like button as it does help tremendously. Also consider subscribing. I'm really trying hard to hit 100,000 subscribers and obviously that's only possible with your help. So if you're interested in helping out a bro, maybe consider subscribing. Thank you again for hanging out with me on this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.